do that again. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus. I benedictus fructus ventris tu e Jesus. Ave Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, Peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Welcome, Alexa. I like to uh, bathe myself and the sound system in prayer before starting. I always know that things will go better. Welcome to Grateful Harmony. Uh, most of you have been here before, but. Uh, just so you know, Grateful Harmony is a concert series where we um, sing about the sacred and I always have a fabulous guest and today I've actually got two. But the main person, this is, this is Alexa, this is my friend Alexa and I'm very, very excited because Alexa sings um, songs that really help me in my prayer life and I can't think of a better person to be up here with me. So welcome, Alexa. Would you like to kick off or do you want me to sing a song? Yes. Would you like me to sing a song? Yes. Well, we're going to sing about um, our sacred connection with the elements and with the natural world. So this is the song that I sing to the trees. Right? There's, a, there's a bunch of songs that I sing for different purposes. Some of them I sing outside the co-op to make money. Those ones are <laughs> Very Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen, people give me money. In the jungle if it's a family and there's children. In the jungle. Um, but this, uh, so I have different songs for different purposes and this is the one that I sing to the trees. with you. It makes you feel like you're doing the right thing. 
Alexa, would you like to play a song? Oh, sure. <laughs> you mean I don't get to just sit here in this deep play all night? Half the time you okay. do. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. Good yeah. Deal. Will you sing harmony with me? I'm going to sing um, Born Anew. Oh, yeah. Everybody, this is Amy Ringo. <clears throat> what is it? You are. You yeah, are Amy is. Ringo. This is joining the stage is Amy Ringo. Father, remain. 
Can we have a little less reverb? Or It'd be fun to put out in space in that way. Thank you. Reverb. Reverb. Thanks, Natavar, for sound. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. You love them. Feel free to do snaps or like death claps. Hey, maybe you want to sing with me too, seeing as you're up there. As seeing as I'm up here, yes. <laughs> At your service, sir. That's what, what we do. So, um, this is a, I've written a few songs this year. There are some years I write lots of songs, and some years I write none. And so far, it's going quite well. I wrote this one for Imbolc. Imbolc is uh, in between the equinox and uh, midwinter. It's the holy day in the Christian tradition. It's called Candle Mass. And it's associated with St. Bridget. I have to say, I love Bridget, because she was our goddess. She was our pagan goddess before she became a saint. And nobody bats an eyelid. <laughs> nobody bats an eyelid. And I love it. It's great. It's all the same. Um, and well, St. Bridget was actually born one and a half thousand years ago, but uh, Br Baid in Scotland, or Brigid, was around for thousands of years. And uh, I wrote uh, a wee song. Um, it's, I didn't write the melody, and I still need to get permission um, to use it. I haven't recorded it properly yet. Who, from whom do you need to get permission? Oh, well, this guy died. He wrote it in the 1960s. And his son, I mm -hmm. found his son online. And a lot of other people have reused this tune. Sarah Brightman was one of them. Um, so the, this guy, whose name escapes me, I'm really sorry, this is very unprofessional of me. This Irish guy in Northern Ireland, he wrote this rebel song. So he took an old Irish poem about colonization and he set it to this beautiful piece of music that just makes you want to cry your eyes out. I love songs that make you want to cry your eyes out. Mm. Cry in an Irish accent. No. Scottish is better. Scottish crying. I just cry. <laughs> <laughs> and I rewrote it. And what I wanted to write it about was um, colonization. I'm an immigrant. And I remember when I first moved to Australia and saw what had been done to the Aboriginal people. It was absolutely horrifying to come from Scotland and see that and to know that my people went there. And uh, it's pretty horrifying to be here too, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's just happened for longer, so it's more hidden. But I have this theory, because Scotland was colonized by England a long, long time ago. We lost our language, we lost a lot of things. But there's something about the land that never dies and it will come through the people and that's what I sing about la 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 la
bitter cold in these times But in your tender heart there lives a beauty It's the gold that fills the cracks where we divide La 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 translate everything she says and she said so um, tell me about your new life and I was like well there's these orca and they swim past my house and she was like oh great are they teaching you anything and I was like oh I don't know they're all over the totem poles and I lived near the tribe I was I lived actually in the tribe and they sold off this street in Port Gamble and they called it the white fella road and I lived in the white fella road so um, I had to go through the tribe and there was these totem poles everywhere and lots of pictures of Orca. And I was like, oh, I don't know, what, what should they be teaching me? She's like, well, you're a musician, they can teach you about echolocation. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And she said, you know that thing when I start and I um, close my eyes and I whistle? She's like, I'm sending out sound and as I hear the sound back, I receive all sorts of information. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then I thought, I know what she's talking about. When I sing on stage, the song goes out, and you guys reflect it back, and I have my eyes open or closed. I actually can hear if you're turning up the reverb or, or listening. Or, um, there's this amazing heart thing that happens when you send sound out. It gets reflected back to you with a whole load of heart information in it. And it's interesting that you say heart because apparently in so much as humans can measure this kind of thing without really feeling it and doing something about it, orca whales have the highest emotional intelligence of any creature that they can find. Like, you know how they say that dolphins' brains are on par with ours? Killer whales are up there but in a different realm, in particular when it comes to emotional intelligence and, and communication between each other. So they're very, very loving. That, that's and technically, sense. they're dolphins. Are they really? Yeah, they're just big dolphins. Yeah. Big, well, bigger dolphins. Bigger yeah. dolphins. I got to see them one time, and it was a profound. You know, I didn't get to look in the eye of a whale, but I got to hear the mama breathing, <coughs> and it just it profoundly opened my heart. So that completely resonates, Amy. Well, I don't have any songs about orcas. So. <laughs> We're creative, so. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do something together. So this is um this can be a participatory song if you're up for such a thing. Um quiet. All right. So this one's called We Are Created by Sound. There's three parts. First one is We are created by sound. We are created by the song of the universe. We are created by sound. We are created by the song of the universe. So it actually does repeat twice. <coughs> so let's just sing it twice together and then I'll go on to the second part of We are created by sound. We are created by the song of the universe. We are created by sound. We are created by the song of the universe. Singing with the trees. Singing with the song of the universe. Singing with the trees. Singing with the song of the universe. Singing with the whales, 
singing with the honeybees. We are created by sound. We are created by the song of the universe. We are created by sound. We are created by the song of the Session, or you can just find the one you really like and just sing it over and over and over, and somehow it all magically works out. So, <laughs> uh, here we go. We are created by sound, we are created by the song of the universe, we are created by sound, we are created by the song of the universe. trees where I live because that's where I do my important prayer work and sometimes that's where I actually do spiritual counseling too. But it's mostly invisible because people normally meet me in town or online. And it's kind of <coughs> underneath everything that I do. If I don't spend time in the trees, I'm not, uh, I'm not really fit to be a minister. Um, and sometimes the songs start off as love songs for the trees and then merge into something else. And here's one of them that normally I don't... Oh, oh what's it? Something's going on there. No, it's Yeah, this is uh, yes, a... This, this time. Oh, no. You guys might recognize this song. <laughs> but before it was the Archangel of Leslie, <coughs> Sometimes I pace 
through miles every day to quell what stirs inside. That's how I found you. My heart called to you. But you guys know it this way. You're welcome to sing along. With all my songs, you don't need to know the words. You don't have to believe the same things I do. You don't have to sing the same things I do. <laughs> the sacred has no gender. And angels are neither male nor female, and they are Michaela and Michael. They've both got two genders. And I've heard, I heard this lovely Jewish trans woman say that God is very, was very appealing to her as a kid because it was the only place she could get away from gender. And I have to say, that's really, really true for me too. 
And I always think about that when I sing this song. I'm singing to this face of the sacred mystery that is beautifully androgynous. I would just tonight want to dedicate um, that song to the beautiful people in our lives, past and present, who walk between the genders. so much for being here. This is the first Grateful Harmony in quite a long time. And uh, it's a real treat to be here with my friends, singing sacred music, and then have you guys listen and join in. It's a real treat. Thank you for coming. I found myself a second ago grinning at the camera over here that is live streaming us on to YouTube and the people watching it after the fact, including ourselves. Hello. Me in the future time. Yeah, well, also, my friends yeah. in Australia, I have uh, a few people who, and, and, and Cynthia is in Florida, there are a few people that I know will be watching and that uh, I love and I don't get to see them very often. Yeah, it's such a grace being a musician. I, I got told by my one of my dearest friends in the Midwest that there's a song of mine that she's been listening to in relation to her mother declining that I wrote for my dog and she's been listening to it in her car and for the part of me that's sad that I'm not in her everyday life more often and feel grateful that my music can be. That's a real great it, It's a wonderful gift. Yeah. So this one is um, Stars Up Above, and I don't play it that often actually, but um, it's tapping on my shoulder, so I'm going to play it. And um, it's a song about faith, it's a song about um, orienting to the natural world when things are hard and just knowing that things are going to keep going because they always do somehow. Um, that's kind of what the Born A New Song is about too. It's just about, you know, regardless of how the seasons turn and change, the overarching mother and father remain. You know, everything, everything that is true stays steady somehow, whether it's with or without us. Um, that's a theme that I've been working with a lot lately. I received this at about 3,000 feet in Hawaii, up on the high mountain there. I'm standing here surrounded by rainbow light. I'm standing here surrounded by Surrounded by holy grace and the stars up above. With the stars up above, I will always find my way. With the stars up above, with the stars I know, I will always find my way. With the stars up above.
given by rainbow light. My visions are given by love. My visions are given by holy grace and the stars up above. With the stars up above, I will always find my way. With the stars up above, the breeze along. With the stars I know, I will always find my way. Stars up above, I will always find my way with the stars up above. With the stars I know, I will always find my way with the stars up above. That makes me think of the Wayfinder's book by Wade Davis. Have you heard about that one? Wade Davis, the anthropologist studying different primitive is the wrong word, as he would say, cultures around the world. He's the one who says, you know, our, our Western culture is very conveniently, we, we put it on top of some pyramid, like having cars and toasters is like the epitome of human intelligence. And he says, there are people in Polynesia who can look at the waves, the small, tiny waves hitting the side of their boat and know what island is how far away. And they've learned these ways of navigating. And when they're navigating for a long way and they've got a bunch of people in one long canoe, there are different people who take shifts rowing with each other, but the navigator never does anything else. Doesn't eat. I don't even think they sleep. Their job is to track and be present the whole time because they're the one who knows and is keeping track of where the stars are, is keeping track of the vibrations of the water against the boat. And they're not distracted. Everyone else works so that they can work by being that present and conscious and finding the way. But I do know when I, I, I studied boat building, it taught me to have faith in humanity. Mm. Which I thought I was going to learn. You didn't before then? Car no, I didn't. I don't know if I believe that, but okay. I had faith in individuals, but I didn't have faith in humanity mm. and where we were going. Mm. I'll talk about that in just a second. <laughs> um, but boat building is just so incredibly complicated and sailing is so complicated that we've passed this knowledge on. Mm. It's an example, and also you have to be in sacred harmony with the sea, with Mother Nature in the form of the sea. It uh, really made me go, humans are incredible in, in how we can teach and protect and pass that knowledge on from generation to generation. It's really astounding what we can do, even if it comes out as toasters. What do I have to offer? What might last the test of time? Growth and change are in our nature. My boldest words could melt like ice. I'll watch the stars with you. I'll share my life.
tenderly I cup this fire so lovingly I breathe in life so carefully the light it grows
true. I think I, I, I don't have as many words. So uh, I have some music. I, I don't have as many words, I just have music. <laughs> let, the, let the songs speak for themselves. Can you turn up my vocal mic a little bit? I often think about um, the life of the ancestors, my grandparents, because both my parents are alive. I think about that a lot in me. Um, a number of years ago, a lovely musician called Ben Bochner came up here uh, and sang on this stage. And he sang this song uh, called God Just Likes It When the People Dance. And I was going to learn it for tonight. I haven't learned it yet. Um, but he told me that when he was writing it, he actually wanted to, to say, God just, uh, God just likes it when, you know, and the ancestors just like it when the people dance. And it was the first time I thought about the sacred mystery in terms of it being the ancestors. You know, like I, 
Whoa. And uh, ever since then, I've, I've been thinking a lot about the, the lifeblood <coughs> that runs through my veins. So I'm really glad that you taught everybody that. swimming up through the water and he was singing this and it goes um, and it's a zipper song which means you can throw in different words and we can say to different things that we want to praise that, that give us our life so it goes water flow through me I am the water I am well you might want to um, go home on this oh excuse me water flow through me I am the water I am she gives me life, yes, she gives me life. She gives me life to live. She gives me life, yes, she gives me life. She gives me life to live. 
How much love can we hold in our hearts? 
side of time mm -hmm. and the seasons help you to come back into your body. Thank you. 
over prairies and deep trees. Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clean air coming home again. So whoever you are, no matter how lonely the world offers itself to your imagination, calls you like the wild geese, harsh and excited, over and over, announcing your place. In the family of things In the family of things You don't have to be good You don't have to walk on your knees For a hundred miles Through the desert Repenting soft animal of your body love what it loves love what it loves love what it loves you know one of the things that the Celtic Christian tradition teaches is that matter matters. That's why they were so against the nuclear bomb. The abbey that I lived in are constantly getting arrested. Me too. I was one of the people outside of Trident. Matter matters. The natural world, our form, this whole kind of New Age idea of zoning out is And <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs>
get around in the sun like that. Thank you. That's why the recording is 10 minutes long. <laughs> so we were recording it and it just kept going. We couldn't stop. And she got the day. I'm really excited, excited to be up here with, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's less humming going on in this church and nicer microphones. And uh, so it's wonderful to create beautiful sound, beautiful sacred sound. So I wanted to mention that the um, the gift song and the How Much Love song, we just released um, recorded versions of those songs. Um, they're going to be part of a children's CD that I'll be releasing in a month or so after years of working on it, so it's big, big for me. And um, I released three songs of that in, in a smaller little EP that I have download codes for um, for sale. We have CDs for sale in the back there, and they actually really do honestly help us buy our groceries. So. Um, and Amy just released a CD like not very long ago. I didn't release really a CD. I released really oh, sorry. Album. And because I don't have CDs, them, I have a download. CDs download are, part. But anyway, it's friends. amazing and it's totally worth it um, to to figure it out if you haven't done the download code thing before because it's an amazing collection of songs. And for those of you playing the home game, you can find all of our stuff online. Is that true? That is true. CD Baby. If you look up all three of our names, you'd find all of our stuff, yeah. right? Yes. Yes. <gasps> If you love what I'm doing, I have an online monthly thing called Patreon, which is wonderful. I post all my music there. I'm really trying to get more people to join up because that is what pays my rent. And you're a, you're a steady and fresh stream of new and creative and soulful content. This is a, a new one of mine. It's called Canticle of the Creatures. I released it for sale on Midsummer. prayer that St. Francis wrote. You know that prayer of St. Francis? It was really unlikely that it was written by St. Francis. Really? Yeah. It's got modern it's language. It's got awesome prayer, it's a awesome prayer and it's true to his spirituality, but they really, the historians are like, he didn't write that. But he did write this. <laughs> um, and then I edited it out and made it into this song. <laughs> Most high, all powerful, precious God. Spoken word can hold your name. Praise be to you who births all life with all your creatures. Especially you, sir. Sister 
water Gift of life Pure Essential there Quiet earth to you 
stars to you. Deep peace of a child of peace to you. of this evening wrap itself round your heart like a warm fuzzy blanket and may the compassion shade you from the bright sun and may this evening live on in your hearts over the next few weeks thank you so much for coming really overjoyed that you were here and to Natavar and to Clara and all, all the helpers thank you thank you Simon for hosting you're thank welcome you. thank you